My name is Shanna and I work at the Woodlands as an ultrasound technologist. On a typical day I have anywhere from 8 to 17 patients. Um, I have a schedule that I'm scheduled from 8 to 5. I check orders to make sure that the orders are correct and that the diagnosis matches the order for what the doctor wants the patient to have done. I get the patient from the waiting room, verify they are who they are, and bring them back into the ultrasound room. Uh, position them on the table appropriately for the exam that they're having, make sure that they have prepped correctly for the ultrasound that they're having, and begin the scan. Um, when I've finished scanning the patient, I review all of my images to make sure I have everything imaged adequately and I write up measurements, any pathology, um, whether they've had any priors, if they've had any surgeries, if they've had any of their history, um, and then I write up the worksheet and scan it into the computer. The radiologist looks at the images, compares it to my worksheet, and gets a report to the doctor. Um, at the Woodlands, we do several different types of ultrasound. We do ultrasound of the kidneys, the bladder. I look at all of the internal abdominal organs, such as the liver and the pancreas and the spleen. Also, we do testicular ultrasound for our patients that are in urology. Um, I also do a lot of vascular ultrasound, including um, the veins and the arteries and the arms and the legs to look for any kind of blockages in the arteries or blood clots in the veins. Um, we also look for cancer in any of the organs that we do the ultrasound exams on. To do the ultrasound, I um, use the machine. I have a list that's loaded up in the machine with all of my patients that are scheduled for the day. I select the patient that I'm going to scan, and then I select the camera that I'm going to use to do the study. Um, I put some warm ultrasound gel on the camera and rub it over the skin that's over the area of the organ that we're looking at, and take still pictures and sometimes some live um, video clips of the organ that we're looking at for the radiologist to look at. If you want to be an ultrasound technologist, I would recommend that you go to x-ray school first. That's usually a two-year or four-year degree, depending on where you go. Going to x-ray school first is going to make you more marketable as an ultrasound technologist and more valuable to your employer. It also makes the process of ultrasound school much easier because you already know your anatomy, you know most of your physiology, and you've already worked in a clinical setting and had plenty of experience in a clinical setting. Um, for ultrasound school, there's a wide variety of options for education. I would recommend going to a college rather than a private school. Um, it makes the education process a little bit easier to go through the college. It's also easier and you learn a little bit more so that you're more ready to take your boards when you're finished. There is no national requirement for ultrasound registration or for ultrasound technologists across the entire United States. Some states do require that their ultrasound technologists have the national registry, which is the American Registry of Diagnostic Medical Sonography, but it's not required in all states. Most employers want their technologists that do ultrasound to be registered technologists because it gives them credibility. Also, there are um, private insurance companies as well as Medicare have started to require that their studies be done by registered technologists in order for the businesses, hospitals, and doctor's offices to get reimbursed. So if you're registered, they make more money and they get more money back for what they've put in. Um, for vascular technologists and doing vascular studies, which is studies on the arteries and the veins, Medicare absolutely requires that those be done by a registered vascular technologist. So that's an additional test that you would have to take with the um, ARDMS, which is the governing board for sonography. For me, the best part about being an ultrasound technologist is that I'm a big part of the let's figure it out. Um, the doctor says the patient has a symptom, they want to know what's going on, and as a technologist, I'm the first one to know. I can't tell the patient, but I like knowing. I'm kind of nosy, and so it's, I, that's my favorite part, is being the first one to know. That can also be the worst part of my job. Um, we work in a urology office, and we have an oncology office, and I often get very young patients, um, and I'm the first to know for sure, not suspect, but to know for sure that there is really something wrong. Um, for example, you have a 17-year-old male patient come in with right-sided scrotal pain and you do the ultrasound and find out he has testicular cancer and he's 17 years old. And that can be very difficult. I don't have a problem um, doing ultrasounds on different patients or on different types of people or on different body parts. I know for some other ultrasound technologists, they are uncomfortable doing some of the scans that we do here. For example, the testicular ultrasounds and also the pelvic ultrasounds on women because it is um, more of a private 
area on a patient's body and some people are not comfortable doing that. If you are considering um, working up to getting a, a job as an ultrasound technologist in a career, I would recommend trying to see if one of the local hospitals will let you come in and kind of shadow um, a sonographer and so you can see how the day really goes and if it's something that you're really interested in. I would also recommend before starting at the program, go even starting the x-ray program, that you check your local area for job availability. I know in the area that we live in, there are several schools and jobs are very hard to come by. So unless you're willing to move or travel, it's very difficult to get a job in ultrasound after you've put all that work into the program. So check your local area for job market availability before you begin the program.